welcome back now i'm going to continue earlier we earlier when we opened this uh, android studio so that time in xml file in design part i'm not getting this architectural activity it's because of there was rendering problem but second time when i open it again i'm getting the uh, activity screen now it's fine so here in main activity so uh, before writing anything i need uh, I need an emulator to run our app so to create an emulator we will here you can see the option of AVD it is called Android virtual device manager just click here and you can see your virtual device now you can create your own virtual device so create virtual device just click here and you can see I'm going to choose phone wearable devices so phone and here is a selected default Nexus 5x but it's a very large screen device 5 inch so I'm going to choose a small one 4 inch device Nexus S these are the list of devices you can create your own hardware device so I'm going to choose any one of them Nexus S480 4 by 800 just click next so you can see here there is option O means Oreo I have to download this operating system but Nougat is already available and Nougat so I, I this is already available uh, the rest of them i need to download marshmallow i also need to download lollipop so i'm going to choose nougat next and then nexus then the name of the device is nexus s api 25 just finish it so our device is ready we can run the run this device just click on this play button and wait here you can see starting AVD Android virtual device you can see Android emulator is running Now this is our Nexus S API 25 and how we can install uh, application from Android Studio to our own device you just need to open your phone uh, go to settings inside settings you have an option called developer option just go to go to insert the developer option you will find USB debugging just click on USB debugging uh, enable your USB debug debugging and use your data cable connect your phone with the with your laptop and then automatically when here is a play button when you click on this play button then you will find the option of your device just select your device and run the app so it will take a little time because first time it is starting So you can see our Nexus S API is ready and here is a list of option list of option just go back oh it's cool browser messaging maps so what I'm telling just take your own device and you can find the option of settings just go to settings in this device I don't require I'm just showing you how you can enable your USB debugging mode so just here and go down go down go down so here is no developer option it's because maybe it is a virtual device that's why so here is no uh, no option of because it's a virtual device but you're in your own device you 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 will have an option of developer option and just enable your USB debugging mode connect your data cable with the laptop and then you will find the option of when you press this button you will find the option of uh, your device so for this this uh, this is enough and let uh, continue we will continue in the next part